everybody, welcome back. I'm so glad to see you here. Uh, we're gonna continue on this. I mean, not on this one. I will still think about it on inside. And as I said, I don't like too much this one. So I came up with solution. Uh, I do have here the frame for inside already prepared. And I was thinking, I'm gonna do some pockets. So I was digging in my stuff and I do have here this one. This was kind of like, I had two small paper for my uh, dice. So I saved that, that I will use it somehow, somewhere. And I think I'm gonna use it here. I'm gonna cut off these sides actually. And then cover them with something else. And I would like to use this strip, which I found in the trade section in the newspaper. And these beautiful images, which were in a Rodram advertiser, they are from the past. Uh, the Rodram did looks like this, and it was so gorgeous. Look at that. So I want to use these, and I found, I already tried, what image can, um, can make this one even better, this. So I place that on my table. Kind of like behind the guy and then I just moved the guy along these images and I found these windows, these white windows, they are so perfect to be behind him. Kind of like, you know, the shop down there and the windows here, it looks amazing. So I'm going to be using this image inside of my pocket and outside I will probably use some other image and I will try to apply there also this strip. Because again, I already tried to place that strip behind him and I kind of like move that. And because, you know, the guy, this one, it's from Tim Holtz collection. So it means America. So I think I found there somewhere. Where is dollar? Come on. There was somewhere dollar. <laughs> I saw that. I will need to find it. Where is it? Oh, yeah, right. On the start. Right here. So I'm gonna try to place that image somehow <laughs> in that back side. Before that, I will need to speed up this process. As I said, I like blue color very, very much, but this one, it's too dark and it's just too much blue. So what I'm gonna do, there are so many things you can do to tone down a little bit your colors. I'm gonna be using white gel pen. And I'm gonna do some doodling here on all that space, not all, because somewhere here will be this one, so I don't need to cover this space. And I already pre-folded it. I took my cover, placed my template here, the way it should be, and then I pre-folded it where there are folds. So I pre-fold it, so I know how far I will go with this uh, with this one. So somewhere here I will finish with this. So I'm gonna do some doodling and a little bit uh, bright up a little bit to make it not that dark. This is too dark. And I'm gonna speed up that process because it will be just me drawing something, so you will see.
So I do have painting all over of my <laughs> base and these flaps inside. And um, I'm going to do some kind of collaging uh, on my pieces as well. So I'm going to pull out some of these pieces. I do have a second towel. First, I think I'm going to prepare uh, the frame. So this I would like to use on my frame. Well, I'm going to keep these sides as well. We'll just add there uh, the newspapers. I'm gonna start with this. Cut this one. And I'm gonna place <clears throat> this one here. And I need to have the windows, I think, somewhere here. And I'm gonna take this piece. And place it right here, where I think it will be just exactly what I need, hopefully. I'm gonna have a look if this will be placed here. The frame will be somewhere here. Oh yeah. I will have that dollar. So I'm gonna cut just this part here to kind of continue that shape of entry to that pocket. This will be hidden behind that guy, so I don't have to put there anything. But here I think I would like to add some number. And I do have here these numbers, uh, numbers, these, uh, you know, from stock report. Uh, just to make sure I do have something on the spots which could be visible. And there is visible part of this bottom. So I'm going to add here this blue strip just to, you know, to make sure I do have there these colored pieces. Now I can, this will be from inside. Now I can flip it over and decorate this top one. So I'm going to take my frame. And this one will be somewhere here. I'm going to have a look to my cutouts and I think... Maybe this one, because it's uh, very similar. It's here, you know, that pattern. So I'm going to be using this one here on the bottom. Oh, upside down. Not that way. This way. And this I can place here. that will be here and of course I would like to add there this blue strip as well so I'm gonna place it right here so right here the blue strip Maybe something colorful 
Well, first uh, I'm going to bring this and try it here. Okay, so now I can imagine what colorful pieces I need. I'm gonna glue my frame, uh, I'm gonna distress the frame slightly, just a light distressing with uh, Spectrum Noir Harmony Line Seal Brown Distress Ink. So just very light colors on the edges, not too dark, because that blue it's quite dark and I don't wanna make that journal too dark, uh, I wanna make it kind of like cherish or <laughs> or cheerful not cherish cheerful cherish as well but cheerful and i'm gonna add a little bit of that seal brown here on the edges as well kind of seal with that brown <laughs> the edges it does have good name. Yeah. And I need some color in there. So first I'm gonna glue the frame on the background uh, so that will show me what I should put next and I can glue it on my background I'm using uh, the tacky glue which I do have now <laughs> everywhere so stick with me guys <laughs> stick with me <laughs> okay so if this will be here uh, I think first I'm gonna do kind of like collage all around before I will decide uh, what I would like to add uh, to the frame which should be kind of like base I'm gonna fold it here where I did fold it before you know to mark where the spine will be Put here so this will be somewhere here okay I do have here a red color, so this will be here, what I do have, what I've got here, I've got here this. I think I like it this way so I'm gonna grab my glue this time it will be tacky glue which I know holds really nicely with uh, with the fabric and I'm gonna be using my tacky glue to glue these pieces on the background I, I'm guessing this way and I'm gonna do just uh, collage but also what I would like to use is sewing machine and sewn the large square and the rectangle pieces so first i'm gonna put these um, little embellishments somehow that hopefully i will remember i should take a picture before i start to pull it off so now to make sure that i am on the right spot here Okay, I'm gonna start with this small one and I will glue everything as I said and once it's dry I will also first sew these little squares and rectangles to that background and then on that I will glue these pieces. It will be you know, easy work which you can imagine what I'm doing here so I'm just gonna pause my camera and I will come back once this all is dry and show you result 
So this is what I have created. Um, I do have here this pocket. I cut out few more images from newspapers, and I also choose the the paper dolls which I would like to have here. These two, they will be standing next to the Rodrem scenery and contact us. And this is from Trust Pilot. There was some uh, advertisement for what was that? National Wild Mobility. It was right here. So I cut that out and I think they will look really cute right here. But I'm not going to glue this pocket yet. I will glue that pocket once I do have this one together with the uh, top cover. But I think they will look really cute here. So I, I'm prepared. And now I just need to put these two together and I can glue them together. For gluing these two together, I'm going to be using PVA glue or I need something what is flexible because I will need to fold it. So let me have a look. That will be here with these two. Yeah, I think it will go well. And then there will be kind of like pocket behind. Uh, I did sewing. I need to show you. I did sewing around this one. And here. I did sewing also around my frame. And I did little sewing here on that small square. And then I glued this three uh, parts I'm thinking if I should put uh, maybe eyelets to the corners or also these but I think it's better just with sewing it's inside in my journal so this one will be just with that sewing yeah so now I'm gonna glue these two together oh before I want to sew I need to prepare uh, hinges here and here for this part for making my hinges, I'm going to use pieces from my collage paper and I'm going to cut two pieces. I'm going to measure that. Oh, I don't need to measure this one. I actually need to me <laughs> measure this one. <laughs> oh, shoot. So 11 and a half centimeters or in inches how big four and a half that's what i need to measure and i'm gonna cut two pieces which will be uh, two inches by four and a half inch or in those centimeters so i'm gonna cut two pieces so i do have my two pieces which do have same um, width now I'm not sure. <laughs> what is it? It's not high. Yeah, they are same like my flaps. And I do, uh, they are two inches here. I'm going to fold them <clears throat> with the colorful newspaper side this way. And this I'm just going to cut. And I'm going to fold this one. I did use my sewing machine on these edges just to make it stronger. I'm going to grab my uh, cover and glue these hinges or holders here where it's this fold from there. I'm going to put one hinge and one on that opposite side. So one right here and I'm going to place it slightly over the edge. Just like this. So now this one again, slightly over the edge. And I can take this inside piece and glue it there. I'm going to be using PVA glue because it's dry flexible. I can fold my cover easily after drying that glue, so I'm going to be using PVA glue and glue this piece right here. Take the cover and place it 
into the cover. <coughs> right. This, now I'm gonna take this part, I'm gonna fold these. And I think I'm gonna help myself with um, putting inside something slightly thicker. <clears throat> you know, so there will be thickness of this one. I don't want to fold it yet before it's totally dry. So I'm not going to fold it too much, but put inside something thicker <clears throat> to kind of pretend that there is the flap already. Fold these folds over. Put there a glue. And take this part and just glue it on these two because they are in the same thickness or same size as your, as your flaps here. It should be okay. And if you notice, we didn't put any glue here. That's because we will slide there then a holder for our signatures. But I want to have this one glued totally. <clears throat> so then signatures will go also around those hinges. So I'm going to let that dry. I can take my... Uh, pocket and place here that pocket I added here a zigzag stitching on right this edge just to make that entry to that closing here to this to this gap uh, as much thin as I can to make sure that it will go there smoothly so here I'm gonna put that envelope just gonna have a look this way this way it will be perfect I can see piece of pound, dollar and some numbers. I think I can go even a little bit higher. So I can see also numbers here on the bottom. Okay, maybe this way. And I can take these paper dolls and glue them right here on this edge. Not gonna close it. I'm gonna try just very quickly. Then I will flat it down again and put over it a bunch of heavy books. So it should go here between these flaps and between back cover just slide it there and it will be self-closed like this I need to let it dry to make it you know move <laughs> to that right side I'm gonna open it flat it down put their heavy books and let it dry till tomorrow so this is my sharing for today I hope you did enjoy it. I hope you found some inspiration. You do have that S, letter S right here. Maybe I will place it somewhere here with maybe some, um, some advertisements. So this is my sharing for today. Thank you so much for visiting me. Thank you so, so much for your amazing comments. I appreciate that very much, your support with this challenge. And I have to say, these newspapers makes my... Uh, my, my crafting even more interesting and I love it so much you have to think all the time what you can use you can't use and uh, with these images it's just <laughs> I don't know it's so easy to work with the pattern from uh, all those squeezes and with letters and numbers uh, that, that's what I really love to do 
And I also felt in love with all kind of doodling. So that's why I added there. It did bright, bright up, light up the blue, um, blue fabric underneath. And I think it looks much, much better this way. So thank you very much for visiting me today, for spending your time with me. Have a wonderful day. Take care of yourself and I will see you soon. Bye.